In this Blender 2.8 tutorial I will show you how to create a simple three-dimensional dice. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well the version I'm using here is Blender 2.80 and it's the beta version. At present it's still 2.79 I believe for download but it will soon change to 2.8 and it's quite a lot different than older versions of Blender so this is the reason I chose to do this tutorial. Um, apologies to anyone who knows all the shortcuts and whatnot because I've aimed this at complete novices. So to remove this banner just press return on your keyboard. Now I'm going to add an icosphere to this scene. So to add an object, come to the top of the screen and then left click on add. Then next to mesh, left click on icosphere. Left click on the little arrow next to add icosphere bottom left of the screen. And the first thing I'm going to do, although you won't see anything because this is inside this cube, the first thing I'm going to do is change the subdivisions from 2 to 6. So left click on the box that says 2, type in 6, hit return. And I'm going to increase it in size as well. So in the radius box where it says 1M, left click, type in 2. You can close this down if you want by left clicking on the little arrow. OK. To the right of the screen, look for the little wrench. This is your modifiers button. And left click on this. Then left click on add modifier. And what you're looking for is shrink wrap. So left click on shrink wrap. In the box underneath target, left click and then left click cube. Now I'm going to offset this cube so if you left click in the box that says offset and type in 0.25 and hit return. So that's 0.25. Finally left click apply. Now I want to go into front view now the shortcut for this is one on your numbers pad but if you're not sure come to the top of the screen left click on view then next to viewpoint left click front all the a lot of the shortcuts are actually um, show up when you go into these browsers so as I said this is numbers pad one but I'm going to just left click on front okay now if you roll your middle mouse you can zoom in and out so I'm just going to zoom in a bit come back up to add left click and then next to mesh left click on UV sphere and again you won't see it because it's inside this uh, modified icosphere expand this box here by left clicking on the little arrow and I'm going to increase the segments so I'm going to double it so where it says 32 left click and type in 64 and do the same for the rings so where it says 16 left click and type in 32 in the box it says radius left click type in 0.2 and hit return now we need to bring this Hopefully you can see it highlighted, this sphere up. So you've got some location points. You've got X, Y, Z. If you left click in the location Z box and type in 1.26, hit return. And this should just bring this little yellow dot just above the top of this cube. If it was in line with the cube, this won't work. So it's got to be just fractionally above. So like I said, 1.26 in the Z location box. Okay. I'm just 
close this down by left clicking on the little arrow. Now I'm going to go into top view and you can either press 7 on your numbers pad or if you're not sure go into view again and next to viewpoint left click on top. Now the first thing we need to do is be able to see the grid. So to do this if you look at the top here you'll see there's a tab that's um, highlighted this is the solid tab. To the left of it there's the wireframe tab. Left click on this. Now we're going to create a series of duplicates. and I'm going to just roll my mouse so I've got a better view. Now the problem you might find is trying to work out where you're going to place your duplicates. So if you come to the right of the screen where it says collections just left click on the little arrow this will bring up all the items in your three-dimensional view and then left click on the cube now what you're aiming to do is bring your duplicate so that they're one square in from the cube now it, it can be a bit difficult so try and get an idea of where these are um, you can change it later on if you go wrong so and I must admit I don't always get this right myself so we're looking at one two three and a bit so let's have a go okay left click on the sphere here to the right of the screen so that it brings up this sphere and like I said it was four in so I think we're coming do you know what I've gone I forgot where I was now so <laughs> let me just click on the cube again Right, so I'm in there. OK. So what I would do now is you've got an option. You can either go into Object up there and then left click Duplicate Objects. But this can be a bit time consuming. So what I would do is hold down Shift D and then drag your duplicate cube over to where you want it placed. So I think we said it was going to be here. I'll check it in a minute. And once you're reasonably happy, left click. I'm going to go back into cube again to see what's happened. Yes, and that's right. So you can see here, here's the sphere and here's your original cube. So we're one square in. OK left click on any of the spheres, doesn't matter which one OK and then press shift D again and drag your next sphere down so that it's in line with the top one but also the middle of it is over the red X axis line then left click hold down shift D again and what you're going to do is you're going to line this one up towards the bottom. Once you're reasonably happy, left click. Shift D again, drag this one up to the top, line it up, left click. Shift D, drag your next one down left click, shift D, drag this one down so that it's in line and hopefully if I left click on this cube again these should be roughly how I want, they don't have to be accurate OK, once you've done that and you're happy with the uh, layout of your spheres like I said if you've got the cube selected you can now place your pointer in this screen, right click then left click on delete that will remove it OK now I'm going to add another sphere so come to the top of the screen again left click on add and then next to mesh left click UV sphere now this one will be right in the middle of this cube and hopefully you should be able to see it here if you're not sure just place your pointer 
over this part here. Hold your left mouse button down and just drag this down a bit. Right, OK. And again, you're going to use your shift button. So left click on the first sphere, hold down shift and left click on all of the sphere buttons to the right here. When you've done that, come up to object, left click on it and then left click join. Come over to the solids tab which is to the right of the wireframe tab top here. Left click on solid and then go into front view by either pressing one on your numbers pad or going into view then viewpoint left click on front I'm going to roll my middle mouse just a bit so you can see what I'm doing OK now with your sphere selected look for the rotation button here to the left of the screen and left click on it now if you hold down shift D this will create a duplicate then right click so you, you don't move them when you move your mouse and then place your pointer over the green circle make sure it sort of increases in colour or brightness then left click then come down to the rotate box left click on the little arrow and then in the angle box left click and type in 90 90 degrees and with these selected you're going to do the same thing shift D right click on your mouse left click on the green circle and again type in 90 and you're going to hit shift D again right click left click on the green circle and type in 90 and hit return okay now the next thing we want to do is bring some of these over this front and what will be the back face. So this time hit shift D, right click on your mouse and what you're looking to do is highlight the blue line. Left click on this in the angle box, left click and type in 90 and this will happen. Finally, shift D again, right click, and place your pointer over the blue line, left click, and this time type in 180, 180. Okay. Now, the one thing we'll need to do is go into the bottom view because the angle of these won't be right, I don't think. So, if you go up to view again, left click, viewpoint, then left click bottom. And in fact, they are in the right direction, so that's fine. I thought we might have had to turn these, so that's good. Okay. I'm going to just select this pointer up here. This is the select box, so just left click on the pointer and that should get rid of the um, rotation uh, button. OK. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hold down your middle mouse um, button and just drag your view around so you can sort of see three sides of your... I'm going to roll my mouse to zoom out so you can see three sides of your uh, cube making sure you don't click on the cube, place your pointer on one of the spheres, hold down shift and left click. Do the same for the other side, left click. Same for the this side, left click. Release the shift button and then holding down your middle mouse, rotate your view so you can see one of the couple of the sides that you haven't selected. And again, hold down shift, left click on the 
spheres that you haven't selected so you should have them all selected Just hold down your middle mouse button and have a good look round make sure everything's selected and that's looking pretty good okay now next thing we're going to do is left click on object then left click join and this will join everything together and we're going to do something which might seem a bit strange because what I'm going to do is actually separate everything again um, there is logic in my madness though okay so with these selected go into the object mode and then go into edit mode and everything will be selected and what we're going to do is separate all of these so if you go into mesh up here left click on mesh and then come down the next to separate or separate left click on loose parts you may have to wait a little bit for it to uh, do the business so once everything's separated back up to edit mode left click and then left click object mode now what we're going to do is start removing these um, spheres so start with top view so left click on view and then viewpoint go into the top okay I'm going to remove these spheres here so left click on the first sphere hold down shift and left click on these six here so you want these and these selected then right click and left click delete now the quickest way to do this now is just hold down your middle mouse button and rotate your view around so you can see this face now this face is going to have three on it so hold down shift left click on this one and this one this one and this one so we've got these two selected and these two selected then right click left click delete now your next side is going to be this one here which will have six so left click on the middle one right click and left click delete and finally you're going to come around again and try and keep yourself reasonably central we want to remove these so again hold down shift left click on this one this one and this one so these three are highlighted right click and then left click delete now I'm gonna just go back into top view so come up to the top left click on view viewpoint top the reason I'm doing that is because I've lost where I am <laughs> so this side is gonna need two so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just rotate the view around and I want to have two in the same direction as these three so I want this one and this one so I'm going to hold down shift and left click on these 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 so this is selected here right click left click delete and finally I'm going to hold down my middle mouse button again come around to this side and this has got five so I'm going to left click on this one hold down shift left click on this one right click and then delete okay so using your middle mouse button again in fact just hold down shift and select all the visible uh, spheres and then hold down your middle mouse button and then hold down shift again making sure you don't select the cube make 
making sure you hold down shift and release shift when you're moving with your middle mouse and make sure you've got all the cubes that are on the face of or the spheres that are on the face of your cube once you're happy that you've done that come up to object again left click and then left click join okay now you'll still have quite a few cubes here on the right hand side now these will be the ones you've created that are in the middle and you don't need them so what you need to do is find out which sphere sorry I'll keep saying cube is sphere which sphere is these here which are all joined so you should be able to see that it's, it's highlighted um, but if you're not sure just go through them until you pick up the one that highlights the cubes that you want so in this instance is 0, 2, 9. Yours might be different so it's worth just going through that operation of selecting them until you're sure. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to left click on this one here, hold down shift and highlight all of them apart from the one that was... you'll know if you've uh, picked up the one that you don't want to remove because it'll be highlighted so all of it's in the middle here so once I've done that I can right click and then I'll left click to delete it OK left click on your cube and you should have your modifiers tab still showing this little wrench where it says add modifier left click then left click boolean in the box that says intersect left click and then left click difference. In the box underneath object left click and then left click your sphere. Make sure you then left click on apply then right click on one of the spheres sorry left click on one of the spheres then right click and then left click delete and this will happen. Happy days. OK left click on the new dice that you've created and come up to the top of the screen left click on object mode and then left click edit mode and what you should find is that all of the um, dice that you've created is selected apart from the new dimples which is a good thing we're now going to apply some colour and I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail on colourising because these just makes these tutorials very long and people look at the time and think oh, I can't be bothered with that so all I'm going to do is just here you'll see a little world it's just above the checkerboard and this is the materials button left click on this and left click new and next to base colour left click on the off white box and then place your pointer oh, sorry left click place your pointer on the little dot here and let's drag this all the way down to black okay now we're going to invert this selection so come up to the selection box left click and left click invert and this will bring these up now you must do this first of all left click on the plus sign okay then left click on a s on new and left click on assign now what you'll find is if you come up here next to shading the very first button next to shading is the render button left click on this and hope it's not that always that easy with the new blender but these will be white and these will be black so what I'm going to do now is left click on edit mode and I'm going to left click on object mode and then I'm going to right click on this dice and then left click smooth shading now if you go into camera view again come up here left click on view 
and viewpoint and then left click camera or numbers pad zero so I'm going to just left click on camera you should have something that looks a bit like this okay now I'm not going to go into backgrounds or anything what I'm going to do is a basic um, image now if you if for some reason your view isn't the same as this there's a little plus sign up here if you left click on it you should bring up this transform panel and look for the box next to lock camera to view left click on this box and then you can close this down by placing your pointer over it now if you roll your mouse you can zoom in or you can zoom out if you want a more smoother view hold down control in your middle mouse button and then move your mouse and you can sort of do this holding down your middle mouse button you can angle your view and then shift in your middle mouse button you can drag your view up so we'll leave that as is top of the screen look for the render button left click on it don't left click on render animation because you'll end up with 250 pictures left click on render image and this will happen you'll end up with an image of your cube or your dice finally to save it just left click on image save as decide where you're going to save it so for convenience I'll go on the desktop and then where it says untitled PNG left click and type in something so I'll just call this what it is a dice it's not a not spelt like that though once you've done that left click on save as you'll have to do this twice what you should have hopefully if you go into your desktop is a basic picture of a dice hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers